All right, well, this is a 1960 Bowerlay Boyerlay DM71. Uh, basically finished up a couple little things, if I can find a part to make it work 100%, and a few badges that need to come back to get put on the machine. I do a walk around of it. Under that cover is the motor, the starter, and the chain that drives from the hand wheel to the table up and down. That lever right there is the gear selector, low left, high right, and you also have two speeds via a two-step pulley that's driven off this side down to the gearbox. You have adjustable table rollers. They're not powered. They are adjustable and quick adjust. You've got a table lock. You've got a graduated scale back here on the hand wheel. The hand wheel is in German. That cover behind it is the two speed, the two step pulley for the two feed speeds. So in total you have two speeds low, two speeds high. The six and a half horse motor is tucked neatly in the back and underneath the machine. I'm gonna give the phone to my daughter for a second. Hold that, I'm gonna lift the top up. There's a Hermant helix head solid in feed roll you can see the shadow has a full set of anti-kickback fingers um, there's the two-step pulley I was talking about for the feed that drives the feed this chain comes off the gearbox that's way down in there and that drives everything I'll put the lid down we'll fire it up and run a couple passes through here Turn the chinsy dust collector on. Push. I got ready. I got to turn on. Ready? There you go. Walking around at Delilah, Nolan. Ready, one more time. Hang on, hang on. We'll switch it to high speed. Just set it up there, back here. There you go. It moves. It's a piece of hard maple. I get a few chips that get beat into the service, but it's just because my dust collector's not nearly big enough. <laughs> 